All right, so the next part of this build is going to be the waste unit of the Gundam Wing Proto Zero Custom. All the parts are done, as you can see here. Now, before we prepare to put these on, I'm going to remove some of the parts that's on this, because I put it on just for display. When I was painting the, um, the waist, I was making sure that I got like all the trim parts and the inside back parts, so, you know, I've noticed that lately a lot of people do that, and I've been kind of not doing that, so you could say that. So, this already has been pre-assembled. The only thing I need to put on is this. So, I will look for the notch here, slide that into place like so, so it looks like that. Okay. Then we take the front side skirts. Put that down. And put that in here. Hmm. Didn't realize that the little holes show off there. I guess I may have to look into painting those little holes. Shouldn't be that shouldn't be that difficult to do. So these two are done. Then we we'll take this. And I put this through over here. Like so. Then we take this, we put that here. Actually let me let me remove this first. So I can get a better, <coughs> better grasp at this. There we go. And that goes there. That goes there. And then we have this. It goes. Then, the side um, skirt armor, which I need to look at how this works, we have this part that goes here. Followed by this part. In that position, and then like this, and then we have to bring this around like so. There we go. Okay, and then finally. Sorry, guys. And then finally, this goes here. This one goes there. And then we take this, which we already removed. Actually, we need to take this and we do this here. Put on the the wit the um, part of the waist armor, the upper waist armor, you could say, and then stick it in like that. And there you have it. The waist unit of the part of the zero is now complete. <laughs> this actually came out pretty good. I was a bit nervous with this one, but. Yeah, everything came out nice. Look at that. Okay. Let's now move on to the next part of the build. So the next part of the build is going to be the wings. Of course, that makes up the wing Gundam Proto Zero. 
without it, you can't call it a proto uh, you know, a wing Gundam. And as you can see, these are all the parts that I need. Now, I have already went ahead of time with this. This was um, pre-built, and I had to close it up and remove some parts so that way I can paint it individually. As much as I, how I like how it came out, especially with the chrome thrusters, I feel like it needs more to it. Now, bear in mind, I'm slowly considering a retouching this up, putting in a little bit more detail. But we're going to move forward for now, because later on we'll be, I'll be doing a little bit more touch-up on all the rest of the parts, especially with the other kits as well. But this part is done, as you can see. So is the wings here. Which I did something interesting. I tried to chrome plate the inside of this and I chromed this one up as well. I'm not feeling it. I'm saying I'm not feeling it. And I'm thinking I'm not going to leave it the way it is. But we'll leave it for now until the time comes where I'm going to have to, you know, redo it. So, <clears throat> for starters, I'm going to flip it around this, and I'm going to put on the trim part of the blue first. That one goes here. That one goes there. Then we have this trim part that goes right here in the middle. Now we take these and we put them onto this, but I slowly discovered a goof. Even though I thought I painted this inner frame pretty, you know, well for the wings, I didn't realize that this part needed to be painted as well. Yeah. Again, I'm going to put these on, and it's now in my list of parts that needs to be retouched up. Hope you guys are taking notes of that. Flipping back to this side, we have this part here, which you put on, and make sure it snaps into place, if you can. Then bring it down, and bring it here. Flip this around as well. Then we have the yellow trim parts. One goes here. And the other goes there. At least I don't have to worry about that. Good. And then finally we have the this little thruster type thing that I did paint chrome that came out okay. And there you go. And of course, if you close it up, and we have the wings of the Proto Zero, which I'm going to put on right now to this. One goes here. And the other one goes there. There you go. And of course they open up. I like how they open up. They all they open up in sequence. Not like you have to sep you know, open one and open the other. No, they can both open up fine. But this is how it's supposed to look. And you turn it. And you do this. Ooh, this is wrong. This is wrong because these has to be on the outside. Okay, well, not a big mistake, but we can fix this up. I'll fix it up, and then we'll show it off. But, that, that completes this part of the build. Let's now move on to the next part. So the final part of this build is going to be the shield and weapons of the Wing Gundam Proto Zero Custom. And we're going to begin with the beam rifle, which I gave it the standard uh, gun metal. Some uh, little flakes here and there, which I'm going to use a little brush to clean off. But I definitely would like to go back to repainting this again, especially in, in the grooves here, here, and here, in here. Maybe take this out, paint that inside, paint this detail part here, and paint the barrel. I don't know if I should paint the barrel or should paint the this part here of the barrel. But, uh, yeah, that's the idea. I don't know any detail um, on the other side, of course, and whatnot. 
But what I need to do is remove this, then remove this. And then take the uh, this part. Bring this down here. I'm hoping that this thing will come off easily if I if I have to remove it. Let me take this part. Put this here. There we go. And then we have this trim part here, which, quite frankly, once I get it in there, it's going to stay. I think that's it. Yeah. Beam rifle came out pretty good. Good detail on that. Here's the other one. Now, the shield. The shield has been pre done, you know, in this area, which I didn't have to worry about. I had to spray paint the entire inside of the area, so hopefully there's nothing here I forgot. But before I go to this, I'll need to pop these two off first. So I decided to keep it on for a specific reason to, you know, pretty much to um, paint the two parts together. And taking this, I'm going to put this one here. And this one here. Now this one's tricky because this thing has these little teeth here that goes into, you know, to this specific position. So when you open it, they open nice and smooth. Then, oh, mm, yeah, put these two together to make sure that's right. And then put this one here, which, of course, I didn't realize there's a sticker that goes here to cover this. But I'm gonna see if I can try to repaint it later on with with neon green. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll do that later on, but not now. So this part is done. Then we have this. Put this here. Okay, that goes in nice and smooth. I'm gonna take this. Let me take this. Let me take that. Put it in all the way. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. I'm noting, noticing something that I need to remove. Alright, good. Going back to this again. Come on. Ah, shoot. So far, I never had trouble with putting parts together when I finish painting them. And now I come down to the last series of parts. And this one's giving me a pain in the ass and a half. Shit. Hold on a second. Okay, I finally got it in. Just took me a little time. I didn't want to waste time doing this. Then I need to take this. And this, put these two together, and then put it on top of this, 
Oops, I think it's the other way. Yep, the other way. And then there are these two little smaller parts here, which doesn't make any sense why they would make it. But I'm sticking it in here. One goes there. And the other one goes there. All right. There you have it. The weapons and shield of... Oh, the Wing Gundam Proto Zero Custom is now complete. Let's now move on to final assembly of this kit.